Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will make understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. This guy, he, guys, he sent me a reference. Let's call him. I'm waiting for him and he sent me text. Hello? Yeah, I okay. sent you the text. I okay, the you, you sent me the, the answer. Give me, tell me the answer. Go ahead, I'm listening. So people can hear you. So Allah said that the iron what? was a material. The material iron. I, I was waiting for you to tell me about chapter 18. You forgot what I told you? You said you want to get the reference. Chapter 18, yeah. verse number 86, the sun set in murky water. You are the one who mentioned the sun, so we are talking about the sun now. Okay, I'm, I'm starting the sun. But... Okay. Did you find the sun answer or not yet? So, which one is it? Oh, my friend. So what you want to do? You said you have to go and find the reference. You said this verse is plain. Yeah, I send the many references to science. Okay, tell scientific. me about the sun. Chapter 18, verse number 86. The sun sat in murky water. In a muddy spring. Yeah, I got it. Wait. All right, good. Tell us what is the answer for this. How? What, what kind of God do you think that the sun sat in a, such a water? There must be an explanation with for sure. I mean, Muslims have explained like, like like today, you know, Moroccan they are explaining why they've been humiliated by the, the Croatian. Everything has explanation, no problem. You can explain it too. So go ahead. Hello? Hello? Look like he lost connection. I don't know. Let us call him again. <coughs> we will mute the speaker so it doesn't annoy uh, annoy you until he answer. No, they cannot answer it. No Muslim can answer this. All their explanation is against what the Quran is saying. It's uh, it's just a stupid answer. It says he is not online. Hmm. Let's try again. Okay, I guess he is back. Ah, he declined. He declined. Maybe he's looking for the answers. It's okay. We'll give him some time. It's okay. Can I call? My friend, we have a, a person. We are waiting for him. He is going to bring the, the evidence. You have to go and get a truck and load the evidence. Big, a lot of evidence is coming. Just have patience. Let us call him again. Yes, my friend, you are live on here. Go ahead. Do you found the evidence? Yeah. Okay, what is the answer for this? Well, how the sun set in murky water? Go ahead. So these verses show a contrast between the two groups of people. 
the setting of the sun was like a shield from the harsh torrid condition for the first group of people however the second group of people faced no protection against it this could have been to show that allah has blessed some people such as the first group of people they received protection the second group of people however did not receive any protection the point is to emphasize that the world that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made okay well, hold on what i'll show you know what protection you know the the one about protection is where the sun rise not where the sun set yeah i'm yeah you, you see you do not know how to read your quran i ask you about chapter 18 verse number 86 you went and you are trying to find the answer for a verse yeah, which yeah. is number 90 i'm not talking about where the sun rise we will go there don't worry but i'm asking you about where the sun set the sun set in a spring of muddy hot boiling water how your god he says Actually, such a thing it's a visualization for the it's, people it's what they do not understand it's a visualization for the people what Actually, visualization? They, do, they do not understand the science behind it people okay, 1, okay. Do, you, do you understand the science do you understand the science behind it i am telling you the people 600 years ago didn't understand the science behind it what is the science behind the, it? the sunset and murky water is that science no it it is not science but so what it is to believe to make them believe they allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told this so and i'm what? trying to hold on hold on, hold on. This. who believe who believe that the sun set in a spring of muddy hot boiling water who believe in that no one will believe that but there is a coincidence uh, who, in, who, in who believe in that who i'm trying to find the reference wait give me five seconds okay I mean, this guy did not know where the sun set. Spring of muddy water. And most the time they speak about science. But people tell me, where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Brother and sister, the brother asked me a question. Where are you from? I mean, my friend, are you calling me to ask me where I live, where I am, or how many? Uh, come on. What well, focus about and I am I am from where the sun set next to the okay, next to the spring of water okay yeah I guess you know that location don't you so just, this reference that yeah. uh -huh. I got a reference that says the verse 1886 says he found it set in a hot spring uh -huh. is that is it mm-hmm Meaning that is the way it appeared to Dulkarnain. Hmm. It is a gang. Do okay. you know Dulkarnain? Yeah, I know he's my cousin. But uh, can you show me where in the verse it says it appeared to Dulkarnain? That's all. Another meaning. For... No, no, no. Don't tell me as a meaning. Don't stop. Where it says in the verse it appeared to Dulkarnain. The one Dulkarnain is not talking. The one is talking is Allah. Allah is saying he found it. He did not say he I... thought. Does it say does it say in the verse he found it or it says he thought? Because to understand the Quran, you have to understand the takdir. To understand, to understand the, what? To understand what? Understand the tafsir. Tafsir. Uh, okay. So which one came first, the Quran or the tafsir? The Quran came first, but the okay. prophet. Okay. Now the tafsir. Okay, hold on. So us how to understand the verses? Okay. Uh, His life about the Quran. Okay, so you, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, I, I will understand the tafsir as you can give me tafsir as, as much as you wish. But the verse in the front of you, did are you saying that the Muslim they think that Allah he used the wrong word because the Quran says he found it. Allah did not say he thought. If I say you enter your bedroom and you find the dog in your bed, that means you found, not you thought. This is a find. Find is about something real happened, and it's about so it's a discovery. A of the uh, tribe huh? Dulkarnain. What? The the verse was for the tribe Dulkarnain. 
I don't understand. Say again. I said the verse was yeah. for the tribe Dulkar nine. Tribe? It appeared for them. Okay, hold on. Where it says it Wait, appeared to them. Where, where in the verse it says, hold on. Where in the verse it says it appeared to them. Are you Muslim saying that your Quran is using the wrong language? In in the even translation says he found it. Listen, listen. He found it setting, not he thought, not it's appeared. Did the Quran says it appeared to him? What is the previous and previous version of okay, it? Okay, just wait. Does it say that he found next to it, where mean which where it said he found people? I sent you the reference. Hey, Take my, it my out. friend, read with me. You can, you can read the reference for me. Does it say when he found? It is very long. My friend, you can read, no problem. It says he found okay. it sitting in a spring of muddy water, hot water, boiling water, and he found yeah. near it people. He found near it what? People. Okay. That ne say he found near what? I have to. I have to when, when the Quran uh, says near it, near it, near I what? Now, because to understand the ayat, I have to recheck other verses. Okay, I'm Before asking you. We can we can go to the other verses, you know, one by one. I mean, you are, when, you are the, when, when you are reading the Quran, do you read the Quran backward or forward? So you, we are in verse number 86. You can read 10 verses before if you want. No problem. You can read 10 verses after. No problem. Give me the answer. So he found near it. Near what? Near where the sun set, correct? Yeah. Correct. He said it, right? Huh? If he said it, then it's okay. So he found I, near it, near where the sun I, set, people. So this is not an appearance. Because he found people near it. So this is a location where near it people live. Did Allah say, and he, he thought there is people there? Because if he found, because the word found does not only go to the sun, it goes for the people too. Are you saying to yeah. me that Zulqarnayn uh, is hallucin uh, hallucinating, hallucinating, and he saw that there is people there and the sun set in murky water but nobody there? Wait, I'm I'm re I'm reading the reference to you, my friend. You can read as much. Give me the answer. It says he found the sun setting, and then Allah he used the same word saying, and he found near it. So if the first word is not a real found, then the second word should be not a real found too, because he is using the same word. He is using the same word for both, right? Fear found. He found, he repeat the same word twice. He found where the sun set in a spring of muddy water and he found near it people. So you are saying that when he found the sun set, he did not find that this was a lie. It's a, it was an appearance. Then that means Allah, he used the wrong word because that's not a find then. Because if the first found is wrong, then the second found should be wrong because it's exactly the same word in Arabic. So you Muslims, oh, so you Muslims, you, because you want to duct tape what your prophet and your God he said, which is stupid, you try to fix it by saying it appear. This is a, this is the false. Let me ask you: Who knows the Quran? Who knows what the Quran is saying better, you or Tafsir or the Prophet? The Tafsir. Tafsir no more than the Prophet. Because the Prophet uh, himself don't know what he did. Ah. I so Al Qurtubi, Al Qurtubi and a Jalalain. Hold on. So Al Qurtubi and a Jalalain. Okay, okay, hold on. Al Qurtubi and a Jalalain and Ibn Kathir, they understand the Quran better than Muhammad. What he did. Okay. Huh? When he was asleep, he may not he may not know what he did. I'm, I'm not asking That's you about what he did. I'm asking you who understands the Quran better? The one who wrote the tafsir. Or Muhammad himself, the one who wrote the tafsir. That's amazing. This is the first time a Muslim he says that to me. So, okay, who is the one who wrote the tafsir? Can you give me his name? The Muhammad sallam. What? Didn't himself know what he did. Our our prophet. Okay, hold on. Muhammad himself, he did not know what he is doing. No, that's not the. I said he he didn't know always what he did because. Sometimes he may be asleep. Okay. In that particular moment, there can be miraculous events or 
anything could happen while he is, he was asleep anything so so there are many sahabas uh -huh. which is their uh, companions uh, his companions okay. they might know what happened okay so Okay. okay, let me ask you, this. who is the Sahaba, as long as you are saying the tafsir, who is the Sahaba who explained this verse from the Sahaba? Sahaba mean companions. Yeah, and you are the one who mentioned many, them. Huh? Yeah, there are many Sahabas. In give, me, give, okay, give me give me one who explained this verse. Sorry? You said the Sahaba is the one who can explain this verse, right? No, I didn't say that. So who is, who is the one who explained this verse? Why you are mentioning to me Sahaba and this is story and this is drama? Uh, the holy question, my friend. The holy question is who can understand what this verse is saying? I asked you, is it your prophet? You said no. Your prophet, he sleeps. Huh? I'm saying, I'm saying it to it. The pro, the tafsir is now profound because is not, not what many Sahaba. It is now profound. It is established. It is fulfilled. Okay, I'm asking you. Let me repeat the question. Who is the all one, them, okay, my friend, my friend, my friend? Okay, choose for me. That's that uh, not the waste the, the time. Choose for me to see it so we can read it, and tell me, promise me, you will accept it. I didn't get you. I said, choose for me a tafsir because you said that tafsir can explain this verse. Choose for me yeah. a tafsir which you can accept, okay. and I that's, will open it and promise me you accept it. Huh? The Sohi Sita, which is Bukhari Muslim. The Sahih Sita books, six books. Al Bukhari six is not a, okay. Al Bukhari is not a tafsir. Bukhari. Okay, six books. Okay, so yeah. you, so you accept you accept from those six books to explain this verse. Yeah, yeah. Okay, six books are I, what? I six books. Can you count for me the six books? They are the strongest books. Can, okay, can you count them? Can you count them for me? Yeah, I can count them. For Go me. ahead. But there are also other uh, books. No problem. No, no, count, no. Count just the six for me. Just only the six. Okay. This uh, this six is very strong. And if if any hadith appears from me, my friend, count the six for me. Okay. What should I count? Count the six. You said there is a six books of hadith. They are correct. You are, you trust them. Give me the names. The Bukhari. Okay. The Muslim. Okay. Uh, Ibn Sina, no, no, Ibn Mazid. Ibn what? Uh, I, Ibn Mazid, maybe I forgot the two you names. Mean Ibn, you mean Ibn Majah? Uh, yeah, yeah, Ibn Majah. Okay. Uh, and other two I forgot. Da, Ibn, Ibn, Abu, Ibn, Ibn, Abu Dawood. Abu Dawood, uh, Tirmizi. At Tirmizi. Okay, wonderful. So let us go to the books you trust and see what those books say about this verse. Can we? As long as you said those are uh, the those are the six, my friend, my, my friend, it's you who said, it's you who said that those books are the trustworthy and the strong one, correct? Yeah. All right. So we will go and check if we can find something about those about this verse. And now, if we find it, you cannot say I don't accept it. And here we go. You said you accept Ibn Dawood, correct? And this is Ibn Dawood. It says. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S, who was riding a donkey. While the sun was setting, he asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, It set in a spring of warm water, Hamia, which means hot. Who said this? The Prophet? The Prophet says that, yeah. And the book of he, Sunan Ibn Dawood, and the one you just showed me, Abi Dawood, you are the one who all. you are the one who count this book as a strong book of hadith for me. I ask you, name for me the books of a strong you accept. You start counting for them for me, and you said you accept Abi Dawood, and you said to me, yeah, yeah. You know, when I said to you, is Abi Dawood? You said, yeah, yeah. So this is the book of Abi Dawood. The last, the last line. Give it to me. Huh? The last line. Give it to me. The last line, what last line? I mean, the prophet said what? Here we go. I was he sitting, said, narrated what? Abu Dhar, narrated Abu Dhar. I was sitting yeah. behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey uh, while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostles knows best. He said, it set 
in a spring of hot water. In a spring of hot water. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, Very there interesting. There must be another explanation for this hadith because what? Quran. Uh, there must be another explanation for okay, this particular. My, my friend, even 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 this stupid statement need explanation. I mean, what explanation? He said to him, where the sun set, he said, it's set in a warm water. Even this one, you need to make a book about it. So what? So why your yeah. prophet, he said and that, if, the, if, if we need more, if we need more, Muhammad will say more. Hold on, hold on. Are you saying to me that your Muslim cannot explain anything in Islam except by explanation, even a funny statement like this, where the sun set, it's set in a hot water. There is must be explanation. I mean, what more explanation? Where the chicken uh, sleep? Sleep in her house. Where the duck sleep? She sleep in the grass. Uh, and she swim in the water. Where 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 the, where is the cloud? It's in the sky. Even done. We need to explain. So where the sunset? Your prophet asking. Brother, give me give me some time. I'm I'm gonna find the answer for you. Meanwhile, well, if you well, want. Hold to... on, hold on. If even this one need answer. Okay, uh, tell me another 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 verse that you want to. But this this, this one alone is enough to prove that your prophet is a fraud. I will be think. I I will think about it. I will. Okay, uh, think about it now and give me the answer. Because I don't have the references right now. What do you mean so that have the reference? I'm showing it to you. This is Sunan Abi Dawood, Hadith number four zero zero two. You give the uh, same same thing that Quran says. That is not an explanation. That's just the repeated thing. Okay. So when you're a prophet, oh, you're uh, you are the one who said. I, I listen, listen. I said to you, who can explain the Quran? You said to me, there is six books of Hadith. So why you mention to me the Hadith if the Hadith cannot explain the Quran? There might be multiple Hadith uh, for an. Uh, I don't care. All, all of them, all of them, they are saying the same. Other Hadith says that the sun goes every day under the throne of Allah. Yeah. Okay, but do the sun goes every day when the sun set? I didn't get you. Okay, when the sun, when you call me, you said that the Quran discover that the earth go around the sun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to understand how this is happening now. So when the sun set every day, is the sun going around the the earth going around the sun or around itself? No, the sun, the earth go around the sun, and that's so, why. So when the sun set every day, the sun is going around the, the the earth going around the sun. No, it's just a visualization, and there is many. It's what? It's what? Now, I'm asking you a question, please. When the sun set, is the earth is the one moving around the sun, or does earth moving around itself? Okay, uh, give me an answer of this question. That what we say when the sun goes down. Don't, I don't care what do you see. Maybe you're blind. I'm asking you, when the sun set every day, what's happening? Is it because the earth going around itself or because the sun going around the, the sun? The earth going around the sun. Sorry? Uh -huh. How many times I need to repeat? When we see the sun setting every day, is that because the earth going around itself or because the earth going around the sun? Okay. What do we say now? Huh? So do we say the sun? Uh, do we say the uh, sun has the earth has done one repeat, or we say the sun has set? Which one? I don't do care what say? you're saying. This is a statement. This is not a question. The question is, you uh, where? Who goes around? Who? When you call me, when you call me, you said the Quran discover that the sun go around the earth, or you yeah. said the opposite. Which one you said? Yeah. Operation. There is no operation. Both of them satisfied both of them. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm asking you when you call me, what you said to me. Did you say to me that the earth going around the sun or the sun going around the earth? The earth goes around the sun. Okay. So when every day we we witness the morning and the night, is that because the the, the earth going around the sun or because the earth going around itself? The art going around the sun. Oh, really? What what school you went to? Which country is yours? Pakistan. Sorry. Are you from Pakistan? No, I'm from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. So in the school in Bangladesh, they taught you that the sun goes, the earth go every day around the sun. Yeah. 
Really? Oh no, no, sorry, sir. Huh? Sorry, I had a mistake. The the sun rotates around its axis. I had a mistake there. I was distracted. Sorry. Okay, just. <laughs> this is the guy who was saying in the chat he got me busted he spoke to christians and i mean look who we are talking to who you know i feel sorry for the croatian praying for the morocco the morocco what, what you are calling me what what happened now did you find that did you find the answer did you find the answer now tell what were you saying huh now tell me what were you saying? Go search in Google when the when every day the, the, the we have the sun uh, we have the sunset and the and the morning, uh, the Earth is the one going around the sun. Is that what the science says to you? No. So what is the, the Earth answer? goes and because of the seasonal transformation? Okay, I'm talking about That's every why. day, my friend. Are you? Do you understand what I'm saying? Every day, every day, every day, every day, the day. I'm talking about the day, 24 hours. So, do the earth go around the sun in 24 hours or the earth going around itself in every 24 hours? The earth go around the sun. The, sun, the earth go the around earth the sun. The earth go ar around its axis. Ah, okay, that's good. So, but according to your prophet, the sun does not go, the earth is not going around its axis. It is the sun who goes every day. Is that correct? No. The okay. Earth is rotating. So okay. We well, see that. Let us see. Let us see if your prophet is saying exactly the same. Here we go. This is your prophet is getting you busted. Listen, your prophet is an, is a is a is an ignorant. Here we go. You just say the Earth going around its axis, no problem. But listen, you just everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. The sun goes around its axis. The the Earth go around its axis, and this is your prophet saying no. Orbit. You're a prophet planet. saying. You're a prophet what? saying. Hold on. You're a prophet saying. When, once I was out with uh, with the prophet in the mosque, and at the time of the sunset, the prophet said, "Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sunset?" I replied, "Allah and His Apostle knows best." He said, "It goes and prostrate itself underneath Allah throne." So who is the one is moving every day? Is it the Earth or the Sun? If everything is moving around its axis. No, no, no. I'm talking so, about every day when the sun set, the movement, yeah. the, 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 the the thing we see that the sun is setting. Who is the one is moving? Is that because of the movement of the earth or because of the movement of the, the sun? It's because of the movement of the earth. Exactly. So your prophet is a liar. The hadith says the opposite. The hadith says that the sun is going every day at the time of the sunset and go and take a nap and sleep under the throne of Allah. That's not true. It's in the front of you. Thing. Read it, my friend. It's in the front of you. Let me send you that. Let me send you the link. Here we go. Okay, bro, I, it's in a, I don't have it's in a, it is in the front of your eyes. Don't tell me. Here we go. Here we, this is the link. Open it. Open it. I can send I you the text it. too. Yeah. I will send you the text. You can read the text. All right. Here we go. This is the text. I will send it to you. You can read the text without opening the link. And here it oh, says, and here, here there's text. Read it. And now you got your prophet busted. Your prophet is lying. He does not know what he's talking about. He is a liar. He claimed to be a prophet. He is not. Listen, you are not being disrespectful at this moment. I don't respect, my friend. I don't care if you get upset or not. I'm not here. I'm not here to show you respect. Just don't be stupid. Now, because you are upset. Because I got your prophet busted, and now because he is proven to be stupid, suddenly, will you call me from the beginning? I told you your prophet is ignorant. You did not get upset. From the beginning, you are in the chat. Shut up. From the beginning, you are in the chat listening to me. I said many times, Muhammad is a false prophet. He is an idiot. He is a stupid. And you, you, you call me, and now you are asking me why you are being disrespectful. So, but this, I, I, never, I never respect your prophet, and you know that. So, you are trying to change the topic. So, you don't, you don't want, you don't want. To hear the truth that your prophet is a liar. So, I want, is this is a lie okay. or this is the truth? Did your prophet told the, did your prophet quiet, told a lie? If you call, if you keep quiet, I will continue. What? If you be respectful, get lost. 
Abdul talking about respect for you don't even respect your mother the second you believe in Islam you accept that your dad he can beat her get lost a Muslim talking about respect if you respect your mother you will not accept the Quran for a second because the Quran says your father can beat your mom and there's no man in this world will accept such a thing never talk about respect follower of, of Muta a man who respect himself will not follow a prophet he have sex with the children who rape women who go after his own son wife don't talk about respect a prophet who marries six years old and you try to justify it a bunch of dummies you cannot force us to respect your prophet just learn that your prophet for us is a scumbag he's a rapist he's a criminal he's a pedophile you cannot refute us and now because we showed you with the evidence and this is Sahih al-Bukhari which is very authentic so Muhammad is a fraud have you ever heard of such a, a people like this they think they can intimidate you. Your days is over. Your prophet is the joke of everybody. You like it, you don't like it. Who care? And everybody laughing at your answers. Potato. You are a potato. Your prophet is a potato. And here we make you French fries. French fries is made for a reason. Face it. And we are the one who made French fries, by the way. Even that you do not know how to make. I mean, what you can do? What do you make? Even potato you do not know. What a crazy cult. So the guy is here listening to me for two hours and now he is demanding respect. To who? To the French fries prophet. Good luck with that. French of fries a prophet, French of fries teams, French of fries religion. Uh, uh, I mean, look, everybody is making French of fries out of you. How come the Croatian, they can make French of fries of you and I cannot? They like me, the Croatian. They gave me authority. They said to me, they give you a franchise to do French of fries. They call us kuffar, they call us pigs, they call us animals, they call us cattle, they call us liars, they call us hypocrite, they call us people of hell, and then they demand respect. You know, they are fascist. They think they are higher than others. Fascist religion. We have one more Muslim. Let me take this guy. Maybe he can do better. <clears throat> Uh, oh, this is an old call. Okay. Let us see this guy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Yes, uh, I, I am a Muslim. All right. Uh, and, uh, Let me put this what? thing on speaker. Okay, go ahead. He got it on speaker. So, yeah, I just want to talk about, like, I, I heard that you don't like Islam and you don't like the Prophet and stuff. I just want to know, like, just, you know, just have a conversation with you. 
No problem. You were you were listening to us, right? Like the previous caller. Yeah, I, was, I did. So, what do you think yeah. about what what happened? What do you think? You see, so you see, Arabic has so many. One, so you speak Arabic, right? I don't speak Arabic, but what I know is that the words uh, uh, in the in the Quran has many different meanings. The one word, one Arabic word, has many different meanings. So I think you can't really judge so fast. You know? did, did I judge so fast? I showed you what your prophet explaining. This is your prophet explanation. So if the Quran, if the Arabic have many, as I agree with you, like when I called the Abdul before you, potato, potato can be food, can be him, you know. So yeah, right. I agree with you, no problem. But you know, the, the, the verse is so clear. He was walking in the street and, and traveling with his army. He found where the sun set. So when you tell me it can mean many words, that is a joke because he did not. He's not talking about metaphorical. He's not talking about uh, uh, love. You know, he is talking about he found really a, a place. It's a spring of water where the sun is setting in it, which is boiling. He described even the heat of it, and then he found near it people. So it's a physical place. Do we agree? Yeah. Okay. From the looks so, of it, it looks like a physical place. It yeah. is. It is. So he, because this guy is going in a war, he is going invading. So he found this place. He found near those this place people. So there is two find. One is the sun where the sun set, and one is where the people next to it. So when somebody try to say, uh, give it like there is many meaning. Well, here we go. I just showed you what your prophet said. Did your prophet get it wrong too? Sorry, what? Did the prophet what? Did your prophet get the wrong meaning? Because your prophet said, he asked his his follower, where the sun said, do you know? He said, no, you know best. He said, it said in a spring of muddy, hot, boring water. So did Muhammad uh, gave us the wrong meaning of what Allah he meant? Well, it's like an indication, you know, it's, it's not like... It's a revelation, right? So it's like more like indication. It's just telling you, like there's there's so many uh, verses that tells you, like what's gonna happen, and you know so something is get. Don't don't go, don't go there. What there happened? I mean, he found this is about physical place. What he will go on? This is not the prophecy. This is something happened in the past. You know, I by the way, I'm prophet. Let me let me prophesy for you. Uh, Trump he won the election in 2016. This is something happened thousands of years ago, and you are telling me uh, the, the Quran tell you about something will happen in the future. This is something happened thousands of years ago, and the Quran now voluntarily, Muhammad, after the Jews ask him, they, the Jews they fool him. They said to him, "Tell us about the Prophet Zul Qurnay. But this guy is not a prophet. This guy is is a criminal. Uh, I mean, this, this guy he he conquer nations. Uh, anything is a is a famous Muhammad. He put him in his book. If you're a prophet." But think about all the Muslim history, you know, like all all Rumi, you know, my friend, the don't, philosophers, don't, don't the topic, thinkers. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Did did the guy found where the sun set? Yes or no? But I did say from 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 the reference that you brought up, it did say that. But still, like look at the Muslim history. You know, it's always been. You know, there's so many philosophers and. So many good my, people. My friend, like, philosophy is haram in Islam. What are you talking about? Philosophy is haram. It's called philosophy is haram. It's haram. Oh, Go search it right now. You guys search on, on Google right now. Search YouTube. You will find million videos says philosophy is haram. Maybe in Shia Islam. Maybe in other. No, 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 no. This is for the Sunni. The Shia, the Shia, they don't say what you say. This is the Muslim Sunni. They say philosophy is haram. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll see. I'll, Same I'll check time. Okay, I will. I will talk to you about philosophy. Can you tell me what philosophy is? It's like someone's uh, meaning of life. Okay. Yeah. What was the meaning of life for Muhammad in your philosophy or the Islamic philosophy? Meaning of life for Muhammad to pra to praise Allah, to get to know about Allah and False. the world. False. Until now, okay, not, you tell me. until now, you Muslim, you do not know anything about Allah. Here we go. Let us start with this. In the front of everybody, I challenge you to tell me what the word Allah mean. What the word Allah mean? Hmm. God. 
No. Creator? No. Allah is a name. Don't you Muslims say is that this is his name? Yes. Okay. What the name mean? The meaning of Allah, the creator. I'm asking you one. The creator is what he do. What his There's name? There's like 99 names of Allah. So no, This I is another question. Allah, what Allah? Yeah. The, even the first name of your God, the real name of your God, supposedly, you do not know what it means. Okay, let me ask you a second question. Who is Allah? Allah, the creator. Okay, hold on. Is Allah is the only creator? Yes, that's what we believe. This is what you must believe? Yeah, like who created a uh, same okay. same God in no problem. Jews, so Jews, uh, if Judaism, somebody, same if, God somebody if somebody is a Hindu, he believes there's many creators. Is he wrong and he is just being ignorant, stupid? Yeah, because he is not monotheistic, right? He's, he exactly. doesn't believe in one God. So the monotheist, they should believe there's only one creator, correct? Yeah, only one creator. Okay, so how the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators? Why does or how? Why Allah, he say, he is the best of the creators if there is only one creator? Because Allah tells us, tells us that he's above all, he's the most majestic, he is above all the other gods. Hold on, hold There's on. There's no other hold god on. Than talk about the creator, focus with me. I asked you, is Allah is the only creator? You said yes. Yeah. Okay. When Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, that means there's other creators. No, it does not mean there's other creators. That means that other creators that are false because there's ex there's only one creator. That's what we believe in. So that's Allah. So okay. Allah, yeah. So are you saying to me that Allah is the best of the false? No, because, I'm not saying that. No, because when you say I am the best, that's mean you are like them. When I say I'm the best student, I am a student. Yeah, where, 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 where did you get uh, this verse from? There's many verses in the Quran. As an example, chapter 30, 23, verse number 14. Uh, what, 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 did, what does it say? I mean, I didn't memorize everything, you know. I don't so, memorize too. I don't even have a memory. You know, I lost it since I ate uh, shish kebab. I lost my mind. <laughs> okay. It's tasty. You know, so here we go. It says, Allah, he made the nutfa, he created, etc., etc., etc. And then he says, so blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Now remember, you are the one who said to me, Allah, he is saying, he is the best, he is the best of the creators because the other creators are false, right? Yes. When because you compare there, there yourself, no when you creator. listen, there is no when, other creator in Islam. No, no, hold on. There's only one creator. When you say the word best, that means they are good. Uh, it depends on what you think, you know. Oh, no, like, no, 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 no. This is the language. When I say that I am the best of them in such a thing, whatever thing, that means they are good, but I'm better. It doesn't say they are bad. It doesn't say they are false. It says actually that they are the creators. I am the best of them. The best of the student is a student, but he is the best in studying. The best of the engineers, he is the best. And they are engineer, and he is engineer, but he is better than them. The best always mean comparing between someone doing good and someone doing better. This is what best right. means. So, okay. So, that's mean that the one who create, they are good creators, but Allah can do best. He's better creator. That's mean you Muslims are not monotheists. Remember, you are the one who said to me that we as a monotheist, I mentioned to you the Hindus, you said, oh, because they are not monotheists, so they think there's many creators. This is wrong. But we are monotheists. So a true monotheism should not believe that there is many creators. And if Allah, he used that sentence and he is using the wrong Arabic, that means he cannot be God because this is this is deception. Could be the wrong translation of Quran. My know, friend, I do not that. need a translation. This is the Arabic, and you can open any translation. Fatabarakallahu ahsanu al-khaliqin. What translation? Those games you can. Allah you, is the best of you, creators. You must you can play right? those games with somebody yeah, who don't I know, speak Arabic. I, I heard this a lot. Okay. We, we say this in in our prayers. Uh huh. You say it in the, your prayer. So you say Allah is the yeah. best of the creators every day. Wonderful.
How are you? Like every, like, this is like a uh, prayer, you know, like when. No problem, no problem. Uh, praising so how Allah, Allah, you, how you Allah okay, is, do Allah mean it or Allah don't mean it? Do he mean what he is saying? He is the best of the creators. Obviously, Allah means it because, yeah, I mean, it's, it is okay. the kalam Allah. It's the word of Allah. But that's so it, Allah is saying us okay. that he is the best of creators. Okay, but that's mean there's many creators. So how you are a monotheist? I mean, there. When Allah says Allah is the best of creators, He's telling us that there are other creators. Like He, He would like you would say that you would think that He's saying other creators, but it's more like just one creator. You know, uh, there's no other creator. Yeah, you know, you remind me. You know, I go home to uh, my dad. He asks me how is the school. I say I'm the best student. Yeah, because I was in the only one in the classroom. Mm, yeah, but that's me. I'm lying. Well, that's your anal anal analogy. No, no, right? no. That's me. I'm lying. If I say I'm the best of the creators and there's no other creators, that is a false description and false certificate. Because if there is no other creators, how I can say I am the best of the creators if there's none? You know, this is somebody exaggerating, lying about himself, saying he is the best. When there's nobody beside him. So either it's true and that make him just one more creator or it is not true and that make him a liar. So which one? I, I would still stick to the point where I said it depends on your ana analogy, the way you think about it. You, know? you can stick to any analogy you want. I want an answer. Is he the best of the creators or not? Allah is the best of creators, yes. Name uh, name one more creator for me to compare him to him. Well, Allah cannot be compared. There's no way. How how, how Look how at you. Guys, Allah cannot be compared, but he Allah he just said he is the best of the creators. I mean, how he cannot be compared? Allah is the like, Hold on, hold on, my friend. You Muslims are what, what do you what do you what do you drink? What do you eat? Allah cannot be compared, okay, and then you, Allah he wait, said that he is the, when yes. Allah he says he is so, the best of the creators. Did he compare himself to the others? He did. So what do you mean he cannot be compared? On. All right, all right. Hold on. Can you bring where it says? Can you bring out the verse where it says "Fatha barak Allahu Can okay. you do you know? Do you, do you know Mr. Ba you you know Mr. Okay. Do you know Mr. Bal? Do you know Mr. Bal? Mr. Bal. Yeah. I have no idea. Baal, the god Baal. Do you, do you know? You never heard of Baal? Uh, Baal. Oh. No. You never heard of a god? His name is Baal. Are you sure? <sighs> yeah, pretty sure. Okay. Maybe in Arab mythology, right? Pagan Arab mythology. Uh, in, okay, it's a religion. People worship the god of fertility. Uh, this god he fertilized things he a god of sex etc uh, he fertilized like he is the one who fertilized the earth uh, is the one who sent rain is the one who made women have a baby so this is Baal did your god Allah compare himself to Baal? Uh, no open for me chapter 37 verse 125 Can you open because I don't have an app? It's open. Hold on. It should be on the on the on your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, I am right now in Croatian channel. This this channel today is owned by the Croatian. Okay. Yeah. Uh. So. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, can you also uh, show the translation? I'm showing the translation. This I mean, is English. Ara the Arabic, the Arabic. But you said you don't speak Arabic. I don't speak Arabic, but I just want to, because Arabic, uh, the Quran, the actual Quran verse is has not been changed since 1400 years. Oof, oof, so oof, it's oof, like, oof, you know. Oof, oof. Who told you that? This is a different topic. Wait, 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 wait. You know, guys, it's never been changed. Okay, hold on, hold on. As long as never, who cares yeah, if it, my friend, my friend. I mean, you Muslims are really silly. Don't be offended, but you are silly. I mean, 
how what this have to do with my question changed or not isn't it this is the same quran you don't speak arabic so how you would know it's not changed because i've memorized the same words okay then uh, tell me the verse in arabic then as long as you memorize it go ahead in arabic i'm listening the barakallah wa ahsan al khaliqin no this is, is the no one. this is not the this is not what the verse is saying this is the one that you just no said earlier no chapter 37 verse number 125 I don't know where this came from, but I remember you saying, for the barakallahu ahsan al That is different right? verse, my friend. Hey, wake Allah up. is the best of creation. Wake up, wake up, wake up. We are talking about different verse now. I asked you about Mr. Baal, and I told you he is the God of fertility. So, yeah, that was afterwards. And then I yeah, and then I said to you, did your God Allah compare himself to Baal? He said, where he said that? And then I said to you, chapter 37, verse 125. You can open any translation you want in the Quran. You can open the Arabic in your book. In your, in your, do whatever you want. Give me the answer. Chapter 37, verse 125. Okay, so I guess from your, from whatever you brought up here, it's, it, it, it's, it's showing that it says, will ye call upon Baal, right? But, I mean, okay. This is this, this is the Quran, right? According to your my friend, don't tell me according picture. to you. I'm giving you the chapter, I give you the verse, and you keep saying to me, Is this the Quran? So, what is it, Mickey Mouse? Chapter 37, verse 125. Read it to me and tell me, Allah compare himself to who? Will ye call upon Baal and forsake the best of creators? Okay, you said Allah cannot be compared to anyone. And you said the word the creator does not mean creators. And now we found that Allah himself, he admit that Baal is a creator because he is said, why you want to worship Baal? But I am better than him. I am the best of the creators, which means he is a creator. And I'm a creator too. If you don't mean that, that's mean Allah, he don't speak good Arabic. And the stupidity here is clear. I am the best of the creators. Who other creators are in the line with him? Baal. Baal is a god. Worship by by million of people at that time. So are you going to call upon Baal and forsake the base of the creator? So Allah go around and he says, I'm the best of the creators. But by saying that, that means Baal is a creator too, but he's the best. Right. Hmm. Yep. So, yeah, I see. Okay. So what do you think now? Are you going to accept this madness? Oh, I was raised, uh, if you think this is madness, then I don't know, but I, I was raised into it. And uh, it's been nice the whole time. I don't know what to say. I've been raised in it, you know. My friend, no problem. We can be raised in, uh, you know, in a, in a society. You know, I'm an Arab and I raised in the Arab society, but I'm not going to accept what the Arab believe in. Who care? You know, I, we have a brain. You have a brain. You're educated. You're not a kid. You're not stupid. So... Do you accept this? This is stupidity because even either I am the only God and I am the only creator. And not to forget to mention, by the way, even the Quran says that Jesus himself, he created birds. So yes, there's many creators. This is stupid. So how he is the creator of the whole world and then Jesus became a creator. And if Muslim, they say, oh, the Quran says by Allah will, doesn't change anything. Still, but Jesus then is a creator. Right, right. But then why is there so many sects in Christianity? So many sects and then... You mean sect? Like, sect? Sect, sect. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if there is many sects, that means Christianity is wrong? I mean, you have like, why do you believe Jesus okay. is hold the on. son of God? You know? Okay, hold on. Uh, who, who have more divided uh, sects, the Muslims or the Christians? I think the Christians has, have more... Okay, sect. so the one who have more divided sect is uh, the wrong one. Do you agree? No, 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 no. That's not it. It's just that, you see, Jesus, you believe that Jesus is the son of God. And then there's so many other things that I, I don't think that are right about Christianity. My friend, Christianity, like, Christianity have a three major sect, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. All of them believe that Jesus is God, the son of God, God, the father, God, the son, God, the Holy Spirit. All of us, but then how is my friend, my friend, those sect, those sect mean nothing. Still, we believe in the four gospel and we believe in Jesus and we worship Jesus and we believe he is our savior and believe he died in the cross. So we don't, we don't have really, really serious differences. But I'm asking you now, 
Who is more divided, the Christians or the Muslims? To me, no. In, in today, uh, both seem to be divided. I'm asking a specific question. More Christians seem who is, to be more who divided. Who is the one, the Christians? What if I show you that the Prophet of Islam, he says no. It is the Muslims. The Prophet of what? You're a Prophet, he said, that the Muslims are the most divided and only little number of them will go to heaven. This is your Prophet, he says. The Prophet says the Jews were split into 71, 72 sect. The Christian, they were split into 71, 72 sect. And my community, my nation, will split into 73 sect. Yeah, because the Islam Muslim sect, like Islam, hmm. is uh, it gonna be? Is, it came to be the last, you know. But no, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. You Muslims, you claim that Islam is the best because Islam make things clear. Isn't it the Quran claim that Allah He sent a clear message? Well, it depends on like what no, no, time you're talking The question about, is very know? simple. Does the Quran say we send a clear message? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. It's so clear. Allah He sent you a clear message, and you are more divided than all the Christians and the Jews. That's mean Allah He lied. Well, there, there, no, hold there, on, there hold on. No, 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 my time. friend. For us, we don't believe that somebody, if he is from different sect, he will not go to heaven. Sect does not mean heaven. Sect is a school of thought. So, but you Muslims, your prophet, he says, only one of them will go to heaven. The rest will go to hell. We Christian, we don't believe in those sects anyway. We believe in Jesus. Uh, uh, our God is Jesus. Our book is the gospel. And the sect is not our God. The priests are not our God. We don't worship them. We don't follow them. We don't care even for their existence. But your prophet, he made it clear that your Muslims, you the Muslims, you are 73 sect, and by the way, this is a false prophecy. False prophecy, because all those numbers are false. And as you see, 73 in the future, you know. In the, in the future, right here now. we go, we are in the future. What 73? Yes, that was a prophecy. What 73? Yeah. Count for me the 73. There's no such a thing. There might be, you know. It, it, that's what it says. It's telling about the future. And it's a prophecy. My friend, my friend. So it's talking about the my future. Friend, it's very stupid to say. That the Jews, they were split into 73 sect because the second you say the Jews, they are Jews. They are not sect. This guy is an idiot. How I say sect and the Jews. And Muhammad, he came and already the Jews are exist thousand of years before him. So was the Jews 73 sect in his time? Is the Jews now 73 now? Nothing changed for the Jews. The Jews are the Jews. That is a that's, that is even stupid. Then the, what's the purpose on, of uh, you know? Same time, same time. Uh, if the Jews are split into seventy three and the Christians split into seven, so, sorry seventy two and the Christians seventy one, seventy two and Muslims seventy two, seventy three. This is the fault of who? <sighs> Misunderstanding. No, of the interpretation? no, no. Here we go. We asked your brother a question about the Quran. He have tons of tafsir. Each one of them give you a different tafsir. Yeah, he but, was trying his best to get the right reference. Okay. But you, I asked you, did Allah say in the Quran that he sent a clear message and with explanation? Did, he, did the Quran say that? Yeah, the Quran is clear. That's mean Allah, he lie again. Because if he explain it, why we need explanation? And why we don't agree? And why we have sect? That's mean the explanation was it's a clear for the believers. It's you not. Know, it's not. Here we faith. go. You are a believer, and none of the believer can answer any question. <laughs> Aren't you a believer? Isn't it the Shia well, believer? Faith. Isn't it the Shia believers? <laughs> Isn't it the, the Muslim Sunni who have tons of sect are believers? Isn't it the Ahmadiyya believers? Isn't it all of those are believers? The Alawi, the Shia, the, the Ethnic Ashariya, the Abadiya, the Batatiya, Satatiya. All of you are believers. So. You are giving me false answer. So Allah, he explained his Quran, his ayat in details. And then we find that nobody can understand the explanation of Allah. That's mean Allah, he don't speak good Arabic. If Allah could not explain himself 
Who can explain Allah? A prophet, he cannot. Me, I cannot. Allah, he failed. And uh, just to make it uh, clear, uh, you know I have many books, correct? Right, I have no idea, but okay. you probably do have L Listen, books. I am going to write a book now, better than my previous book. What do you think about my statement? You're going to write a book on what? Better than my previous books. What do you think about this statement? What does that mean exactly? What do you understand? Is you're going to write previous... Oh, wait, say it again. I will write a book. I will write a book better than my previous books. So yeah, what is the, so it means that you're just going to uh, make it better? Exactly. And to make it better, I have to add... Uh, like uh, maybe I got more information, right? Like now I'm more knowledgeable because I'm getting older. What do you think? What What should I say? I mean, are uh, you telling me? What do you think? When I what? Why I did not make my previous book good anyway? I mean, why now it's better? What is different? What happened? Is my knowledge changed? Why is going to be better your, this time? I don't know. Your senses are getting bad. I guess your senses, your brain. You know. Oh, so now it's getting better. Okay. What about Allah? He said the same as I just said. Allah will write Quran better than his Quran. How that can work? Wait, what, where are you going with this? I don't, I don't, I'm not. I'm asking you if Allah is God. This is where I'm going with. How Allah will write Quran better than the Quran. Was the Quran good? Was the Quran good? The best. It is the best. It is the best. So how Allah will write better than his best? I don't know. You Allah. Don't, what do you mean you don't know? Here we go. So the Quran is clear, and you do not know what this God is saying. None of our revelation, we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar. Is that a joke? Allah is going to write better Wait. Quran than his Quran and to make it more hilarious or similar. Wait, so is this it on your screen? Right yes, now? chapter two, the chapter of the cow. You, you Muslims are Hindu, aren't you? I mean, the cow is the biggest chapter. When I was in India, essentially, I, did, I made a mistake and I told the Hindus the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow. Everybody became a Muslim in the same Yeah, so Bakra. Yeah. So in the chapter of the cow, Allah is going to write similar Quran like the Quran. Why he wanna do that? Is he drunk? So I will delete a verse from the Quran. So I will write a similar verse. How stupid is that? Imagine I spend a year or two years writing my book and then I delete my book because I wanna write similar book. Imagine I build a house, let us say four bedrooms. It's exactly the same size. And then I demolish this house because I want to build a similar house. So can you ask a question? You want to ask me a question? Is it a similar question yes. or a better question? I don't know. I, it's just a question. It's not. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Better, is the question you will give me? It's just a question. Is the question you will give me similar a question or better a question? It's a similar question. Similar question to the Quran? <sighs> to the Quran. Okay, so Allah will uh, write a similar Quran. Give me an example of Allah writing similar Quran to the Quran. Well, I don't know about the future and I don't, I'm not going to predict anything because I'm nobody. I'm to not predict. asking you to predict. You are the one who called me. You said you want to talk and you are the Muslim. I'm the Christian. I want to talk about, I want to talk about the Quran. You do, what? I want to talk about the Quran. You want to talk about the Quran? So we are talking about what? Mickey Mouse now? Can I ask a question? My friend, we are so, talking about we are talking about the Quran. Are we talking about Mickey Mouse? We are talking about Quran, but okay. you're, so the way I you're saying is just, Don't tell me the way I'm saying it. Say the way you want it to. Go ahead. You're free. You know, we are having a conversation. Have a coffee. So Allah will delete Quran because he want to write a better Quran. You must tell you claim that Allah he knew the future, correct? Well, I don't claim this. I don't think it says in the Quran. No, it is in the false. Quran. It is in the Quran. Open it, chapter 2, verse 106.
been is the Quran's been the same since for 1400 years man and this is a different the this is an, this is another topic and we would we would, you know according to your prophet the goat ate the Quran and the Quran is gone oh my god <laughs> Bro, did, yeah you're, just making you're a, a prophet wife no I'm not the, your prophet wife, she said, when Muhammad was dead. Why? A, a, why do people like? Why do the West? Hold Western, on, hold uh, on. A people Ju, say a that it's, gold, been, a, 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 it's the, been the same. The Mossad, since fourteen hundred years. Hold on, hold on. Let's see this, how the, the same it is. The Mossad, the Mossad, the Jews, Israel, Israeli, they send the goat. They're Asian. She is a Mossad agent, Shabbat, and she went to the house of your prophet, and she ate the Quran. What say you? Oh my God! I never heard this. I mean, I, I, I my I'm, friend, you, you are talking to Christian Prince. You will hear it. No problem. Here we go, and this is the height in front of you. The verse of stoning to death, stoning, and the breast feeding for adult, which is my favorite. I love breastfeeding for adult, man. I will. I get hungry all the time when I see those big breasts of the cow. And breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep came and ate it. Maybe the sheep was hungry. Wonderful. Um, I think the Quran tastes good too. I don't know if she got poison from eating it or not. You're making but, up but weird now, questions. What, so what do you mean I'm making up? This is the hate, in, this is the hate in front of you. We Muslims are really crazy. I show you what Bro, the hadith. All this stuff that you're showing is not authentic. You know, it's it not. says it says okay. The 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 grandsons of your prophet. His name is Hassan. Is that correct? The 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 who? The grandson of your prophet. His name is Hassan. Yes. What Hassan mean? What does Hassan mean? Yeah, cool, uh, good, well, I, good, right? Good, right? Okay, okay. Here it says good, Hassan. The hadith is Hassan. It's in front of you. Good. So the game the Muslim they play anything they don't like. Maybe they call it some the other they Jews, call it, some more. Okay, hold on. Person, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's gonna come and give hold you on, more. Hold on, hold on. Tell you, you more Muslims, about this. Because... You Muslims, you practice. I am unable to. Hold on. So yeah, I, I you cannot. Muslims, you practice a stoning to death. Can you give me the verse in the Quran for stoning to death? Stoning to death. Yeah. I heard about this, but. What do you mean you heard about all it? All I know is that it's uh, it comes in 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 a system, you know, in a Sharia. Uh, nah. No, 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 no. This is was political, a verse. In, this is was a verse in the Quran. Yeah, it's it's, it's telling you about the Sharia. Okay, okay, Sharia no law. problem. Sharia, because, Sharia. Uh, okay, Sharia. You you Sharia. Sharia law. My friend, you don't even know what Sharia means. I'm asking you. The verse is in the Quran. Where is the verse of stoning to death? I have no idea. It's okay. probably in where is the, the Quran. verse? Where is the verses of breast, breastfeeding for adult? Breastfeeding for adult. I've no. I've never heard of this. Okay, and underneath here it says, and then those verses abrogated by uh, 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 recitation, and then establish five number four stage. Where is the verses of five time? Verses of five time. Yeah, five time breastfeeding for adult. I wanna because I like I like it ten time more actually. I don't like five time. Five time will not you know I will be angry. I've not heard of this. Yeah. You don't. You never heard of this. Okay. So now, so so don't st stop saying the Quran is preserved. Let me ask you: When your prophet, and this will prove that Muslims they lie to themselves. They don't even think. And I think this is your case. I'm not saying you are lying to me. I'm saying you lie to yourself. So I want to ask you: When your prophet first time received Quran, what he received? I wouldn't say I wouldn't I wouldn't make such you know such remarks. I wouldn't say that the prophet lied. No, no, I'm not saying your prophet lied. I'm, I'm saying you are lying to yourself. I'm saying now. I'm, let, let, focus with me. When your prophet he received the first ever Quran, what he received? The same. What the same? What he received? Give me the, what he. The what same Quran. Okay, what he received? There's a verse. There's a chapter. What he received? Bro. So all I know is that okay. I, I will help you. I will help you. I will, was I, revealed, I will refresh the your memory. Is... I will refresh your memory. Your prophet was in the cave of Hurra, correct? Okay. Okay. The angel Jibreel he came and he squeezed him. 
three times, correct? The angel came and revealed. I no, mean, no. the before angel came revealed, and gave him. Revealed, before he revealed, he squeezed him, correct? What squeezing? What is he it? Squeezing? Squeeze him. Squeeze, squeeze, like you know, the toy. Pim, pim, you know. Okay. Okay. He was so, revealed. Yes. Yeah, but he squeezed him, and then he told him okay. to read. Correct. Read. Right. Okay. Okay. This. Is the, do you agree? This is the first he received. Well, yes, okay. Okay. Where we can find the chapter of squeezing or read, where the angel, he squeezed him and told him read. Is it true that this is now in chapter 96 in the Quran? Whoa. Dude, okay, you, you're asking me so many questions. Like, these are the questions you should be asking a scholar. So I was, I came here to like understand okay, no, hold more on. about your, your hold, views. Hold on, hold on. Can you call right now your sheikh and he can join us? Here we go. My sheikh? Yeah. I'm not in contact with anyone. If find one in the internet, call him in the mosque. Tell him I'm a Muslim. I'm in trouble. There's a guy asking me questions and I hope you can answer him. Right now, right now, call I'm him. I'm not in trouble. I'm just, I just came here to... Okay, tell him I got a Christian. Understand what's going on I got a Christian. Tell him I got a Christian. I want to convert him to Islam. He's from Croatia. Those who made the... The Moroccan. I will. Shikabat. I will. Yes, I will reach out to some people. Yes. Okay, my friend. I will let well, them know that there's a guy. His right. name is uh, Christian Prince, and he wants to know more all about right, Islam. Friend. Well, Muhammad, nice to meet you, my friend. You are a nice person. You are welcome. Uh, for today, I have I have enough uh, fun with you. It was good okay. time, and I hope you enjoyed. You can call me again, but next time I hope you will get me a shake with you, if you if you would please. Correct. Okay, I I, I will try. All right. Thank you very try. much. Thank you. All right. Uh, Ahmed, the Shia person, I will take your call for a few minutes because I have to go soon, my friend. Let us talk Shia uh, to Ahmed. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. How are you, Ahmed? How are you doing? Um, CP, I'm watching your stream. Are you only talking to me? You are what? Are you talking with me? Hello? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You don't hear me? Yes, I hear you now. Okay. How are you? So, what do you what do you like to share with us, Ahmed? Uh, hello. Um, if you remember, I was. Uh... You are live on air, by the way. Yes, I, I hear you. Um, okay. If you remember me? I'm uh, Shia. Yes, I remember you. Yes. And what do you want to uh, say? I'm going to mute your stream because it's giving me trouble. What? Uh, yes, um, I wanted to ask you okay. a couple of questions about All right. the um, the uh, gospel. Okay, go well, ahead. Well, that's really uh, the gospel. But, but you uh, see, book of uh, you, I mean, you, you are calling me in the wrong time because I don't have really too much time, but I will try to answer you fast, okay? Because I just see uh, I'm okay. leaving. But uh, go ahead, uh, give me a question. Uh, hold on, I'm going to open uh, Romans. Okay. Uh, but um, first, uh, I want to thank you. You're welcome. Because um, you helped me kind of separate from a cult that was harming me. Oh, so you decided to leave Islam finally, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm happy for you that I was able to help you to leave Islam and glory to the Lord. Uh, we pray that he will help you more to accept Jesus and to be saved. Go ahead, my friend. So, Roman, pray for him, my friend. Pray our friend Ahmed here. He was a Shia. Uh, he spoke to me before. And well, as you well listen, CP, uh, yeah. I, it's not so much that I've poured. I, like, uh, I, have, I need one straw to break uh, the camel's back. Because, you see, um, for example, online I see, like, uh, these ex-Muslims, and, you know, they leave Islam, and they're like... Uh, lost sheep you know they have nothing so if i want to leave it first i need a replacement my friend you will never be lost because you have the real shepherd his name is the messiah the christ he is the light of the world and he is the light of the hereafter he is the judge he is the savior he is the truth he is the life itself jesus said i am the life i am the resurrection i am the truth and the one who come to me Come to me, open, knock at my door, I will open for you. And the one who drink my water will never be thirsty. 
and the one who believe in me and die will like the one who die and he believe in me he will live forever so my friend he will never die so my friend he will never be lost but uh, uh, what I want from you we as a Christian we don't accept just people to to believe in Jesus and say Shahada we don't do that and we don't want that we want true believers in a Christ people who actually know what they're exactly what they believe in. in Christ we don't have people say Shahada many of those who call themselves Christian they are false Christians we the one who count is the one who is truly believer who does the will and he do the will of my father exactly so if you are a person who just want to call himself a Christian but you don't belong to Jesus you never belong to him to belong to him Jesus said from their fruits you shall know them not from their names so your name is Ahmad you can keep it as yeah. Ahmad you don't care for your name he care for your fruits uh, yeah uh, here's my question okay. so you know how in uh, Islam yeah uh, you're considered Abdullah Oh, yeah. Even in Shia Islam, you're considered yeah. Yeah. Uh, Abdul Nabi yeah. or Abdul Imam, you know, which is how can I be a slave of a man hmm. who that man himself is, well, Muhammad, you know, he says, I'm I'm a slave of Allah. So, but, you know, hmm. in practicality, you know, even Aisha says, In Yara Rabbuka Yusara Ali, how I Muhammad, you know. So she's basically telling him that, you know, I see your Lord is serving you, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Serving your desires. Uh, in Christianity, are you, I know you're a son of God, but are you, are Ch you a slave child of, God. of God? There's only one son of God. Son of God is Jesus. That's about one person only. He is considered, son, he is a son of God. But we, for us as a Christian, we are children of The only of begotten God. son. Huh? Yeah. The Jesus is the begotten. only begotten son. Exactly. We are children of God. Okay. No, I, I, um, what I saw is, uh, in Christianity, are you also a slave of No, we are God? not. No. No. How, I don't how, think he needs how, slaves. Is no, no, no. No, we are not slaves because uh, simply, you know, slavery, slavery when you believe in the predestiny, and then you are a slave because you can't change anything. In Christianity, you know, you just quote for me what I quote before, that not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, correct? But yeah, but the, the one, one who does as well. Exactly how you are a slave, and you, do, you still you can you can do or not to do the will. Did we get the point? Yeah. Um, because I, but, as as long I can right now I can go right now and rape and kill and etc. And uh, I'm not promised salvation if I do that. So still this no. is this is my will, this is my will, not God will. So I am free from His will, and then judgment day will come. And then I will pay the price for my will, whatever it is. Yeah, but but is there a difference between a servant uh, and a slave? Our friend, servant. Jesus is servant. Jesus he servant. Served us. Jesus, this in the Bible called many times servant. But Jesus, the servant, is he a slave? No, he came to serve us. God Himself is a servant. God Himself is a servant because who is the one who gave us food? Who is the one who gave us uh, all what we have? Uh, the the God. The provider. Okay, but the one who okay, the one who cook for you, isn't he a servant? He's serving you. Yes. Exactly. The one who come to save you, isn't he doing a service for you? Yes. Okay. So our God Himself is a servant. Did you hear about Jesus washing the feet? Yeah, of his I, I did. I read that. Okay. So Jesus washing the feet. Why? Because He said. That the one who cannot be a servant, he cannot be a master. That Correct? is true. Okay. Yes, I... So Jesus himself, who we worship him as God, he took the place of a servant to the point he was washing feet. So in Christianity, we don't have this title which the Muslim they put around this such a name, Muhammad and Allah. And you know, terrified. they can't even say the name of Muhammad without you know such a like a, a long sentence. You know, okay. like when you watch TV and you speak even, Arabic, when you watch Arabic TV, every second they say the name of Muhammad, and you know how many times they repeat his name. Sallallahu so Alaihi Wasallam. Allah yeah. Allah. If you are a Shia, they, not only him and his family and all, his all daughter, his, all his children. Yeah, I mean the whole like it's like a story. So it's very boring. But you will notice that Christians when they say this is Jesus.
Have you ever seen Christians saying, bless him? You know, no. Uh, Jesus, I think the Jesus. only... Yeah, we say Jesus. You know, some people, they give uh, more respect. They say Jesus the Christ. No, my friend, this but, is not, not more respect. Still the same. Jesus the Christ is not an additional. Christ, he is a Christ. Jesus, he is Jesus. This is not additional. This is a, this part but, of him. But, you know, they're not like... Uh, the, those guys, which every time they say a name, they have to start. No, no, no. This, but this paragraph. is not really, you know, this is not the problem. You see, Jesus himself, uh, he was down to earth with everybody. He sit in the ground with people. He talked to everybody. He uh, dines with sinners. Uh, he, you know, he is. He's, you know, he 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 heals uh, the the sinners. The the Pharisees were were very proud. They says to him, "What are you doing? Those are the sinners, one. You know, what are you talking about?" He says. I, uh, you know, I came to save the sick, not the healthy. You know, that's unlike uh, the Quran, which says, uh, Allah you will know. make them more sick. Allah will make them. <laughs> Is that Allah? <laughs> yeah, so Allah will make you more so sick. So what's the point? Exactly. If, if, you come, if you come to make the sick more sick and the healthy more healthy, exactly. why did you come? So the what you come for? There's no point. Don't need a cure. But in the case of Jesus, he came. This is what the servant is about. You see, now we reach the point. Jesus came to serve, to serve, even though he's God. But the true God is not the one who is so proud of himself. <laughs> because it would be silly. Yeah. Mean, he will, he will compare himself. Listen, you know, imagine, Ahmad, I go and I see an ant, you know, and I say to yeah. the ant, hey, ant, you know, you know how big I am? That would be silly, isn't it? <laughs> you know, <laughs> do you know, ant, hey, ant, do you know I can smash Maybe. you, huh? huh? Do you want to fight? Suleiman, he, he yeah. went to do that. Too. No, but I mean, this is what Allah do. <laughs> I mean, this Allah, you know, he is talking, I mean, we are who, are who we are. I mean, we are not even in the size of an ant for God. We are nothing. We are not even a dust in, in, the, in, 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 in the air of, of this space. The whole earth is not even a dust. The whole earth together is not even in the size of a dust in this massive space. So when this God, he put his mind, he want to threat a bird and he want to threat this guy and he want to threat. I mean, this guy, he go, he, okay, you know, you know that Muhammad, he says that you need to kill the lizard, right? Yes, okay. the enemy of Allah. And I don't know if you heard me saying, your enemy is your size. <laughs> what do you think about my statement? Uh, Christian Prince. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lizard. <laughs> lizard. You know, but, you if know, your enemy, if your if you enemy, look. if your enemy is a lizard, <laughs> who are you then? I mean, a lizard, at least go and fight a wolf, a, a, a chicken, a rooster. I mean, this God, he is now make a fatwa that the, my enemy do jihad against lizard. This is telling you how stupid this religion is. And your your enemy is your size. You know, if I want to go, imagine if I go right now and I challenge an infant to fight me. Uh, a, Everyone a child, will think is, you're, Hold on, a child is idiot. five years old. I go in the street, he say, hey, five year uh, kid, come here. Do you want to challenge me? You know, oh, this is funny. This is, I mean, this is a lizard. Yeah, everybody would hear an idiot. Yeah. You know? So Islam is a stupid religion. But uh, CP. Yeah. Uh, if you look, um, for example, at uh, the names of uh, Allah, you know? Yeah. And uh, Mutakabba. You know, how, how come, yeah, the Mutakabba, it means the bigot. The bigot, actually. Sorry, how yeah. does he name? himself the bigot yeah, yeah how does he name himself the bigot or yeah, and, and, the, uh, and the statement and itself is a stupid because, receiver, because you know? to be a bigot uh, that's mean you compare yourself to others in a stupid way and uh, we, we just heard the muslim who called me before you he said we can't compare allah <laughs> right but the whole verse we are reading is yeah, Allah says he, he compares, is the best of he the compares creator. Himself. Yeah, he compares himself to Baal. He compares himself to the tree. He compares himself to the olive tree. He compares himself to the fire. He compares himself to, uh, I mean. Have you seen the Quranic verse where he says, uh, uh, Allah, Allah t believes that he is Allah. <laughs> he takes shahad. Yeah, he takes shahad. Shahad Allah and la ilaha lahu. <laughs> you are asking Christian prince if he know the, if he know the verse. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me about mathematics, I might fail. If you ask me about chemistry, I might fail. But you ask me about, did you hear about the verse in the Quran? <laughs> That's a good one. So, yeah, the God who takes a shahada. I, I mean, have, you ever heard, have you ever heard of a God? He says, he witness that there's no God but Allah. Who's talking? I mean, are you stupid or what? 
I, I want to see uh, the dean to invite invite him and potatoes. ask him why he converted to Islam. Islam. <laughs> no, do you see this guy? His name is Yusuf. Is uh, something uh, useless? Uh, he said his wife used to call him useless before he converted to Islam. So now we have a use because he's making money from the Muslims. So they said anyone can call us if you have a question, please. So I decided to call them. You know, usually I don't, but this is a TV show. When? So I said, when let me this? call. This was many years ago. Actually, we are posted on YouTube. Maybe you can find it. And uh, they did not let me go. The second I called, they knew my voice. And guess what? There is no calls. There is no live calls. Because I never they heard. shut you off? I never heard. Yes, he did not let me go. He said, what is your question? I, I told him, I have a question. I don't know what I said to him at that time. Uh, you can search it on YouTube. Uh, but then he hung up on me. Either they discover my voice. Like uh, Mimi Hijab. Yeah, but no, no, those they did not even let me go in the in the life. No, nothing like I spoke to somebody else. They did not even let me go. And you will see that this guy Yusuf State, he have a cell phone. Have you ever heard of a cell phone taking calls on TV? He have a cell phone and hello, assalamu alaikum. But you don't hear the voice of the person. So they make up a show and they they write the questions and now they are somebody called them. Uh, okay, this person is a Catholic and is asking why Islam hate us. Okay, my friend, let me answer you. It's made up. There's no Catholic in the phone. There's nobody is calling. They they stage it like uh, Zakir Naik. Yeah, yeah. Everything is a, you know is a stage. Anyway, my friend, I really I wish I can stay with you, but uh, uh, I I need to go. Next time you can call me too, and I will be happy. To when are you going online tomorrow? I I hope so. Maybe, you know, I will see. Okay. Uh, listen, I I can call you like uh, ten maybe tomorrow. Or if when I am on air, I can't give you the time, you know. I, I will see when we are on air, you are welcome to text me and I will, I will take your call. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I wanted to, uh, before we go, I, I have one thing to show you on uh, send you a link on YouTube about I don't, uh, I don't, Shia. I, okay, you can send the link in the in YouTube chat, but because I don't open links in my Skype, uh, okay. just send yeah. them in the chat. Okay. All right, no problem. Thank Bye. you, my friend. Okay, thank you. take care. Take care. God bless you. And we are happy for you that you left Islam. See, when a Muslim, he start thinking, he start using his brain, he come to the conclusion, and here we go, our friend here, he decide to leave the cult of Muhammad. We are happy for him. I hope soon, his family, they will leave too. Do you see people, how important what we do here? We change by the help of the Lord, the heart of those who think of us as enemy, when the fact we don't hate them. But because Muhammad deceived them, the devil deceived them. So what we do is very important. We have today three Muslims. The first one, he have no idea what to say. The second one, he have no idea what to say. The third one, he left Islam. But I hope that the first one and the second one, they will leave Islam too. Because in the beginning, this is what happened. You get shocked. You try to deny it, you know. You try to fight it, but for how long? It's in the front of you in the screen. We don't make speeches. So I want to say again, we are happy to our uh, 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 brothers and sisters in Croatia. God bless you, my friend. And please, next time when you play with the Muslims, be easy on them. Decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning. The cross before me, the world.